back to my channel, I'm Courtney and in this video I want to talk about how to be less busy and more productive. If you feel like you never have enough time, you're constantly doing something but you never seem to be getting anywhere, your to-do list is never ending, it's probably because you're keeping yourself busy. The work you're doing, everything that's on your to-do list, it's not actually productive. When you're busy, you're doing a lot of stuff. Some of it's important, some of it's not so important, some of it's completely pointless. When you're productive, you're taking the action you need to take to make progress on your goals. So in this video, I'm gonna give you three ways that you can be more productive and less busy that are so simple to implement and they will make your life 10 times easier. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. So the first thing that's gonna make a massive difference is to limit the number of tasks you allow yourself to do each day. Now, when you first hear that, you're gonna think, okay, but that means I'm doing less. But that's the point. If you could only do three tasks per day, what would you choose to do? Would you clean your makeup brushes, organize your Pinterest boards, and spend a few hours watching videos on Facebook? Probably not. You would choose things that are related to your goals, things that are actually going to move you forward. If there's only three things you can do, you want those three things to have an impact. It's kind of like the whole, if a genie gave you three wishes thing. You're not going to waste them on things that don't matter. You're going to pick the best things, the most important things, the things that are going to have the biggest impact on your life, and you're going to choose those. It's the same with your to-do list. It should be the things that are going to have the biggest impact and create the most progress on your longer term goals. Focusing on only three things in a day is gonna significantly reduce your stress and the pressure that you're putting on yourself. When you have a long list of things to do and you're looking at that, you're putting so much pressure on yourself. And the thing is, a lot of the things on that list probably don't actually need to be done. There's probably no reason that you have to do them today. You just kinda of want to get them done. And also, when you only have three things to focus on, you're gonna be able to just focus on those things and you're gonna get them done probably faster because you'll have less distractions, but you're also gonna get them done better because you're not trying to rush through them. You've got more time that you can spend doing them and usually that actually means you take less time because you're more relaxed and things are just easier to do when you're relaxed. The second piece of advice that I have for you is to use routines to be intentional with your time. A routine is just a specific list of actions that you take in a certain order and you do it probably every day. If not every day, you do it on a regular basis. So if you can set up your routines to include things that are gonna make a big impact, they're gonna make your life easier, they're gonna make progress towards where you want to be, those things are just gonna get done without you really thinking about it. You don't have to waste your time thinking about when you're gonna get it done, when you're gonna fit it in, if you should be doing that before you do your other tasks, if you should include them in your three priorities because you know that whenever you've decided to do that routine, those tasks are going to get done at that time. So you don't have to think about them. But don't just throw anything into your routine. It can be easy to think, okay, I want this healthy routine, so I'm going to add all this stuff into it because that's what I should be doing don't just add anything into it. Really think about whether or not it's gonna make a big impact on your day, on your life, and if it's gonna help you progress towards what you want. If it's not, then don't include it. So for example, my morning routine, it helps me to carve out some time to spend journaling, which for me is a really good way to get thoughts out of my head so that I can focus better through the day. It also helps me if I've got any ideas to get those out on paper which can help me be more productive in bringing those to life. My morning routine also makes sure that I'm just dressed and ready to leave the house whenever I might need to. And it gives me time to plan out my day so I can choose what those three tasks are gonna be for my day. My night routine, that gives me time to tidy up after the day, to clean, make sure my space is nice and tidy, to eat dinner at a good time, to go for a walk to unwind, to make sure I'm carving out time to switch off from things. So my routines keep me on track with other things so I don't have to think about them through the day and when I have to fit them in. And my third and last piece of advice is to have dedicated days to deal with all the little things that build up. 
there's always little kind of life admin tasks that need to be done and they're always going to be coming up they come up at the most random times but these are the things that can completely derail you from being productive when you remember that you wanted to research something you open a new tab even though you were busy focusing on something else when you realize that you have to phone someone you think oh i'll just do it right now it'll only take two minutes but then before you know it you spent all this time doing these other little tasks and the thing that you were focusing on the important thing that you had to get done hasn't been done. So if you know that you have a day scheduled to deal with all of these things, when they pop into your head, you can write them down, but then you can forget about them because you can trust that you have a certain day where you know you're gonna deal with all of those things and you don't have to do it right now. So you can get back to focusing on what it was you were focusing on in the first place. And when you do have these days where you get all these little tasks done, it feels amazing because you start your day with a massive list just full of all these little five minute things that you need to get done and by the end of the day you've ticked off so much that you just feel like you've accomplished so many things and it's just a really good feeling. It's definitely worth just putting those to the side, dealing with them on a specific day. It helps you focus now but it also gives you that sense of satisfaction later when you get to tick them all off at once. So if after watching this video you are ready to set up your own routine so that you can be more productive, make sure you are subscribed because my next video is going to be all about how to create your own routines that suit your own life. It's amazing to watch routine videos on YouTube, but when we try to implement them ourselves, it doesn't really work a lot of the time. So this next video is going to show you exactly how to create them for your life. But in the meantime, if you want to keep watching, I will have my video on how to achieve your 2019 goals linked on the screen. That's going to help you if you're not sure what your three main tasks should be because you don't know what it is you're working towards. That is going to help you to get back on track with your goals maybe even set some new goals so that you know what you want to work on. And I'm also going to leave my playlist for how to 10 times your productivity as well. That playlist has all my productivity videos in there and that playlist is going to get bigger because I have a lot of productivity videos coming so I hope you're ready for that. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.